Hey guys, Jono from Fitness Education Online. Just want to share my workout for today, which was a hit session. Now, this is the, the basic formula of it there. That, that there ends up being about half an hour. That's usually what I do for most of my sessions anyway. I find that's enough. We usually do like a, you know, a 10 minute warm up and then you know, I do a bit of an explanation of what we're gonna do. That goes for about half an hour. We've got like 15 minutes spare and we do like some core and some stretch at the end, all right? So most of my sort of main workout is usually half an hour. Now, I just basically use just different drills for my hit stuff, okay? We start off with a Tabata of skipping, okay? Everyone probably knows what a Tabata is. In terms of skipping, there's a million different skipping variations. I made a video the other day, just scroll down below and have a look if you want different variations. I'm a fan of having different variations. I don't just want to skip for 20 seconds, break, skip for 20 seconds. You can, but in my opinion, it just gets freaking boring. All right, next one then we do 40, 60, 40, 20 push-ups. Once again, if you're not sure what that is, I made a video the other day, just scroll below or just type in the search thing 60, 40, 20, and that'll come up. Um, we then go back to Tabata again, but we do it on the ladder, okay? So I, I try and go like, you know, it's, a, it's, it's all interval stuff, but it's like sort of cardio, then resistance, then cardio. I then do a 30, 30 times by 10, okay? Which means it's a 10 minute workout because you do 30 seconds of a resistance exercise, then 30 of a cardio. Resistance, cardio, resistance, cardio. I pick five different exercises, okay? Today I was lucky, I only had 12 people down here, I had six kettlebells, so I could just pair them up, okay? And so one person would do kettlebell swings, the other person would do a ladder exercise. Then they switch, okay? Two rounds, move on to the next exercise. Two rounds, move on to the next. Five different exercises, you know, ends up being 10 minutes each. Uh, if you don't have enough equipment for one between two, you can just make it like a little circuit, you know? You just have five different exercises set up. You say, all right, you do 30 on that, and then 30 on that, and 30 on that, and then 30 on that, all right? Uh, I wanna run through the last one in a bit more detail because this is one of my favorite ones, and it's not done that often in, in boot camps. So I wanna share this so you can use it. It's a five minute EMOM, okay? Just comment below and let me know if you know what an EMOM is. All right, so if you know what an EMOM is, comment below. If you've done it before, comment below, just so I've got a bit of an idea of where everyone's at. Um, if you don't know what it is, it just stands for every minute on the minute. Okay, there's a million different ways you can do this, but I find this a quite effective five minute drill. So I just pick four exercises, a burpee, a squat jump, a shoulder tap, and a leg extension, where you're lying on your back. So my, a leg extension is for me. Call it whatever you want, a V sit, whatever, but some variation of that. Okay? What happens is you do one rep of them all, and then you do two reps of them all, and you do three, four, while well, you keep going, you go up as high as you can, but every minute on the minute, my time is going to go off, and you start back at zero. Okay? So the goal of it is say your participants do that, and they manage to finish three of it all in the first minute, sweet, try to do it again in the second and in the third, and in the fourth, and in the fifth. Obviously you won't be able to because it's freaking hard to keep that intensity, but it works because you've got that little goal. Does that make sense? Comment below and let me know if that makes sense or not, so that you know you work for it, you, you do as many reps as you can in that minute, and then you start again, try and beat your score, and then start again, okay? Really you can pick whatever exercises you want. The only reason I pick those is because there's a little like up, down, on your back, on your tummy, you know, you've got your burpee, which is an up and down, you've got your squat, which is a jump, you got your shoulder tap, which is in prone position. You got your leg extension, supine position. Then you back up again. You know, it's a lot of up, down, up, down. So it works quite well um, for that. All right. But anyway, that's my workout for today. It's a good hit session to do because it's you know it's just different five minute drills, and every drill is like a different sort of timing, so you can vary it up. If people don't get used to that whole, all right, it's thirty of this, and then ten of that, and thirty of this, and ten of that, or it's tabata again. You know, you do as many different variations as you can. And if you haven't done the emon before, give that a crack. All right, that's the video for today. If you liked it, just hit like so we know that you liked it. Any questions, just comment below. This is all covered in our bootcamp courses. If you're interested in the bootcamp courses, I'll put the link below. Have a good day.